www.radiostartdenhaag.com. Radio Start presents Saturday, the 18th of December. Your choice. Live on the internet. The 17th edition of the Radio Start Den Haag. Top 100 of all time. All time. Help us to make it the best chart ever. Send in your 10 all-time favorite Italo and high-energy dance tracks from the 80s till now. Go to our website, click the link, and fill in the form. Italo Disco and high energy from the 80s. Are you ready? The best chart ever. The Radio Stop Den Haag Top 100. Vote now. Saturday, the 18th of December. Live on your favorite radio station. Live. Kickoff is at 12 noon CET till late at night. Radio Stop Den Haag, where it all started. Tune in all day long. Radio Stop Den Haag. Radio Stop Den Haag. I venti d'azzurro, i venti d'azzurro, i lava, i disco.
Is that so? The Tiger? Or maybe the Feeling Like a Tiger Club? Yeah, Michael Sancho is having his birthday today. So, <laughs> regarding a tiger or the Tiger Club, we wish him well, of course, and have a wonderful birthday. Maybe he is listening to the show, who knows, but I'm sure that a lot of you out there are waiting anxiously for what is, uh, well, to become a unique colloquio, a unique meeting with some stars of the Made in Italy sound, the dance sound, because I think the occasion is special. Of course, we often have artists in the studio or maybe on Skype, but this time, and of course, it has to do something with Christmas, not alone in the title of the song, the new song, but also the motive of why the song has been made, why so many of the uh, artists volunteered to uh, participate in the song. Well, you're going to hear that out of their own mouths. So we try to seek contact in uh, what, about uh, 20, 25 minutes with Annelie Gordon, Natalie Arts, with Kim Lucas and uh, Emanuele of Paps and Scar, Emanuele Kotzi. So I hope that you will join us also then in 25 minutes because this will be unique and history for not only Eventi Azzurro but also I think for this radio station Radio Stadenhaag. I hope you feel very very welcome. Michiel, thanks for the show before this one and you are listening to Marcello, me for Eventi Azzurro. We are going to have a wonderful sequence of Italo Disco. Then of course we have some dance because Per forza, si dice in italiano, uh, because we are going to talk with some of the stars of the, the dance made in Italy. And then right after, we return to the Italo disco and we have now and then a disco song just to remind you that you can vote. Watch the T-shirt. You can vote for not only Italo Disco, but also for disco songs published from maybe the end 70s, early 80s, whatever. Just what you feel like you can do. But you have to remember this radio station is a disco radio station. Italo Disco, high energy. Disco from Canada. Disco from the United States of America, from Germany, from Spain. That's what you have to keep in mind and not going to uh, vote for a queen or not voting for a Proko Harem or other really, really big names in the scenes like U2 or Depeche Mode. No, it, this is really for the disco sound, high energy sound, Italo disco, etc, etc. So keep in mind that and tonight I'm going to give you some reminders maybe for your top 10 if you didn't compile your own Yet, we need your votes. We always want to have a record. More voters each year. So, let's move on after Madigan, Ice Cold Love. Brrr, it was really cold in Holland. Uh, they say water koud in Dutch. That means it is so cold, it's nearly freezing. Not freezing, well, to, now it's, it's really half snow, half rain outside. But I remember I have seen with Kirsi in Finland. And now there is the Independence Day in Finland. Well, speaking about cold, ice cold love. <laughs> Kirsi, you have the ice cold love. And Madigan was singing about it, the first song. So let's move on to the next one. It's a well known one. But it should be in the top 100. I can repeat that, I think, numerously tonight, that you need to vote for something like this as well. I made my own list already on a piece of paper. I came to <clears throat> more than 60 titles deserving to be in the top 100. It's nearly my own top 100. But this is Lucia.
My gosh, and Menno has entered the studio. Maurizio, the, the pizza king, you have seen the pizza. They were already delivered tonight in an early stage. And we have the champagne. Uh, there is um, an excuse just to taste the champagne. But in real life, of course, that means that we're going to sip and sip and sip and sip the champagne tonight. We have something to celebrate, right? Um, well, this is maybe an obvious choice for you because you can have a commercial top 10 for your favorites for the voting. And remember, the 16 of this December month, it's the ultimate day of voting because the transmission, the show will be the 18th on a Saturday. But nevertheless, you can have a commercial top 10. But on the other hand, you can also have the non-commercial ones because this one... It's it's a, doctor's, it's a doctor's cat. But who will choose for Andromeda? Then you will be a fanatic girl or guy. And there's this balance between what do you want? Just write down the things that you really like in spite of maybe knowing and realizing that it's not going to reach the upper top 100. It could be the bubbling under. And then you can say, okay, what the heck, I will vote what I like. And it could be a a rather unknown or maybe lesser known Italo disco song or maybe a disco song. So that's why I selected tonight from left to right, from up and down, all kinds of songs for you. Not really to vote for this one, but maybe it sets your mind up to think of other titles in your music past. Just go ahead with this and enjoy this Andromeda by the Dr. Scat with Eventi d'Azzurro.
trying to connect. There is an idea maybe to have the four of them in one screen. So uh, we have some contact already with Emanuele. And I'm not sure if he can listen to me now at the moment. But, uh, well, let's hope. Let's hope that it will be all right also for the girls, so to speak. We are busy with that. So, Dr. Scat, Martinelli, you may say, of course. Aldo Martinelli in those days with uh, Fabrizio Gatto and uh, the wonderful Simona Zanini. Well, let's move on to something that is still a little bit of a birthday present because yesterday night I wasn't here in the studio to celebrate Victor's birthday, but he was so very nice with Anne to hand over the T-shirt. And, uh, well, he's so fond of the Bobby Orlando sound that the living out a fantasy, well, we do at the moment, actually, by O Romeo could be a Bobby O sound that is not so often on a turntable. Jerry, yesterday night, played the Miss Kimberly, etc. So I hope that this one will surprise you and maybe it sets your mind also to other ideas. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. song i hope vic enjoyed it i couldn't read now the thread on the live chat because i see a lot of people in the live chat i'm happy with that and a lot of listeners and viewers as well but i hope that uh, i'm nearly convinced that he liked this one and maybe you too the oh romeo and the living out a fantasy now we're going to this wonderful friend that we have 
We have a connection with Italy, but it's also a bit British. The same with Annalie Gordon. This is Kim Lucas. If you didn't know who she was, a little bit shame on you. <laughs> but she made, amongst others, with Roberto Turati. You know Roberto Turati, of course. Remember the Skype with him last week. This is what you hear now in cooperation with Roberto. Kim Lucas with All I Really Want, a wonderful dance hit in 99. And it's maybe 20 years old, but who cares? It's a wonderful song. Compliments to her and to enjoy this song and to have a little presentation with Kim Lucas. There was a little wake-up call from Marcello. I was just chatting with her via the WhatsApp. But nevertheless, Kim Lucas, all I really want in cooperation with Roberto Torati, amongst others. And it was a wonderful dance hit, and I hope you liked it as well. Well, the other 
guy, the only uh, guy uh, at the moment uh, in the connection with Italy, is Emanuele Cozzi. And he was not only known for Coro, for example. Co is from Cozzi. And uh, Ro was from Rossi, Mauricio Rossi. But together they were Coro. But they were more famous, I think... Emanuele was more famous in Paps and Scar. Still, he calls himself Paps. So, Emanuele Paps is in this song, I think, so familiar. For Dutch listeners and viewers, if you are maybe familiar with television in the early 90s, you remember Televisione di Rolfo. There was also this item, uh, Vergeet je tandenborstel niet. But Televisione di Rolfo had a lead music, the leader. And this was... This was from Pops and Scar. So it has been so wonderful. Oh, I still get the brividi, the goosebumps listening to this song and knowing that we're going to talk with Emanuele just, just in about a few minutes. Let's hope that we have the right connection. We're still working on it. So be patient and uh, enjoy the music. Turn around. Here is the Pops and Scar.
I'm sorry for the dust because I tested it at home and there was nothing. So there has to be something on the way, on the, on the way here uh, from my home to the studio. I'm sorry, Emmanuel, but you can see me now. You, we can talk now. And I have to explain to the viewers and the listeners that we have still this kind of uh, technical uh, limitation that now we can see you, but the others can hear us. So I'm hoping that uh, they understand that after a piece of music, we're going to change image and then uh, we go to, uh, for example, Kim Lucas. So Emmanuel. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm here. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Emanuele. I'm so glad that we can talk tonight with you uh, because there is a special reason to find each other again because we are yes, friends think, uh, for a long time. It's been a long time ago. We, we can see each other and we don't phone each other. So uh, that's a good, uh, a, good, uh, a good time for me. Yeah, well, it, of it's course. to see you to see you. Yeah, I said to him, well, if the English is a bit of a problem, it could be, then, of course, we go on in Italian and I will uh, translate. But uh, nevertheless, um, how, how is life for you at the moment? Because this was uh, the song by uh, Pops and Scar from years ago. And uh, yeah. not to say too much, but better that you say it yourself. How is life, music life for you at the moment? Not only because of COVID-19, but also what are you doing at the moment? Uh, okay, uh, you know that uh, after um, a few songs in English, uh, we, we started to make uh, uh, songs, uh, dance songs in Italian, in Italian language. So it, it went very good. Uh, we had the chance to do many hits here, as Stasera Luna Mirage, that yeah. you know it from the from Scotch, the band uh, from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we made uh, Vieni con me, another big success. Uh, Balla, ti ricordi quella volta? And uh, uh, to, to, to come uh, to, uh, nowadays, uh, three years ago, we had uh, the chance to, to, to make a golden record with Vieni uh, con uh, Voglio Tornare negli anni 90. I want to go back to the 90s. And uh, the other the, uh, song uh, was another gold record. Uh, it's called Fanno Bam. And uh, one month ago, Voglio Tornare negli anni 90 uh, has been uh, uh, so it's very good, it's typical at the moment, but uh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the the line is a bit weak. I'm I'm sorry. So sometimes there were some difficulties in listening to you, but I understand that you are still busy with so many things. And you mentioned uh, one of the first things, uh, Stasera La Luna Mirage, uh, yeah. the big hit by a Scotch, and uh, you did it again in a wonderful way. And to be honest, I was planning to do it after this uh, interview and after the presentation of the song to uh, show it to the people and uh, let them listen to that one again because we love that really. So um, now you um, presented yourself also as Emanuele Paps. Does it mean that that Davide is not involved anymore in uh, projects or this is just one occasion for Emanuele and not with Davide? That's right, the first you said. Uh, as you said, uh, we split the purpose. So I, I will go now and he's uh, doing uh, his way also. Okay, okay. And uh, I think now, because we have to go to the girls, otherwise it's impolite to to let them wait too long. Uh, to the agree girls. With, agree with you. Can we ask the girls, can you give your thumbs up? Can you hear us? Is the sound okay? Okay. Oh, you have to, yeah, Marcello, the only thing we, when you talk, we also hear other people talking from the regia. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, but may, that's very difficult to understand what you are saying. Okay. Then, then of course, we ask the other ones to, to shut up. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, we, it's better. Yeah, it's, we don't understand what, hap- what happens. Who's talking to us? Because there's yeah. too many people talking. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for that. Because this is, this is quite an opportunity, of course. But with four, it's a little bit difficult and there was a discussion over uh, of how to improve but okay sorry for that uh, Emanuele because I think that the name of dance legacy yeah was coming from you you yeah but because every everyone uh, 
uh, was trying to to say something to to name the group in in, in a way, yeah. and uh, I thought about the legacy because uh, it's a uh, it's a hype, you know, yeah. because we, everyone uses uh, this word, but what <laughs> word is important because we come from the dance uh, music, uh, mm-hmm. we are dance music, uh, we live for dance music, so I thought that uh, dance legacy. Um, could be would be the best name for the group so yeah uh, now, then uh, the girl is uh, they said uh, yes so i'm very <laughs> proud of it okay thank you Emanuele, grazie. And I, I will go to the girls now, but we need to make uh, uh, some kind of switch. So I will present another uh, famous song out of the dance made in Italy. And I chosen for DJ Dado with the Metropolis because we have to vote for a top 100 of all times. And I think this one should be involved. Not only Turn Around by Pops and Scar, but also maybe DJ Dado. So we need the musical Spazio to change from Emanuele to let's say Kim Lucas. Okay, bye Emanuele. Bye, bye later. Hello. And, Welcome to Metropolis. And just a little bit of music. A futuristic city where any of your wildest dreams come true. Travel in your fantasy. Close your eyes and let your mind fly high. Industrial energy. The dimension of the new world. Future of the things to be. We wish you all to have an amazing journey. Metropolis. It's nearly a crime to break into this wonderful song. But I promise you, if you like it, I will do it again, of course, in the next few weeks. Now you know that you can have this one in mind as well. DJ Dado, Metropolis, out of the year um, 96, I think it has been. Well, I think it's high time now to move over to Kim Lucas. Hello, can you see me? Yes, we can see you. We can see you. And also, I can't see 
anything and I can't see anybody. Okay, but nevertheless, we can hear you clearly. If you can listen to me, to my voice, then it's okay. Yeah, I for... can hear you perfectly. Okay, thank you, Kim. Well, it's an honor. I told you before, it's an honor to have you guys on the show. And especially for you, because, uh, well, not only because of COVID-19, I explained to Emanuele, but you have also had in your family some rough times and therefore I respected a little bit of silence and to step backwards but now we have the time to see you to listen to you so Kim it's really an honor thank you grazie mille thank you okay. thank you very much it's I'm just sorry I can't I'm sorry that for the um the reception but I'm very happy to be here with you all tonight yeah. it's it's very very nice to be with you all okay because you you know Kim Lucas in the dance world it's it's quite a name to to have as a guest in the show but the first question could be how is a British girl ending up in Italy to be a singer or maybe there was another way uh, of uh, arriving landing in Italy can you just shortly explain how a British girl uh, come to Italia and become a singer? Yes, well, it, it just happened. I was in the right place at the right time. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I first came to Italy working as an actress. Ah. And then I got involved working with um, Italian singers in the recording studios, um, correcting uh, their English pronunciation. And that's when I met the fantastic uh, Roberto Toratti, my great producer and great friend. Yeah. And that's when all I really want. Um, uh, that's where it all started from all I really want, uh, which was in 1999. Yeah. But I was as an actress first. Okay. And now you are a teacher? I am. I'm also a teacher. Uh, I teach... Um, even during the, 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 the pandemic, luckily I was able to teach, um, and I'm still teaching now. I'm still teaching now. I love my teaching. I miss my shows. Obviously it's been a long time now with no shows, so I can't wait to finally be able to sing again. It's really, really lovely to be part of this wonderful project that we're here to talk about as well. Dance Legacy. Yeah. So to be involved with so many of my dance friends, and that's an honor, and it's really, really special. We do understand really perfectly, uh, Kim. And of course, I think because you are very near, like sisters with Natalie, it's logical that you have been part of the project and will remain a part of the project, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. And also, um, it's been wonderful because... um, Just uh, seeing so many artists uh, that we haven't worked with for a long, long time. Um, And so it's kind of been a a really good excuse Mm -hmm. for everybody to get back together again. Because often, obviously, we meet where we do shows and on stage, but that's not been possible recently. So it's been wonderful to come together for this really lovely project yeah and be part of dance legacy so i'm very happy for that okay well thank you for your participation tonight and i hope that we can do it again but maybe also with some more songs of you on the turntable oh, lovely. and and then well, yes definitely then we will have some more time to have it uh let's say about your singing uh for the dance made in italy Thank you so much and we move on. I have a little uh, music, of course, again to switch and then we move on to Anali. So uh, thank you, Kim. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, if you want to have something as an idea, because, you know, a top 100 should exist of the best of the best of the best. So the upper class maybe of the made in Italy sound. And what about this one? This has been a worldwide hit. Shouldn't it be in the top 100? Or is it just, okay, the 80s that you are voting for? I'm just challenging you. This is Gigi D'Agostino to maybe have in mind because the goosebumps already. You can sing along in the bath, under the shower, in a staircase. Toujours l'amour pour tous, for all. 
all of you. Für alle. Für jullie allemaal. Enjoy this one. Of Gigi D'Agostino, Paolo J, Maurizio, Menno, Michiel and Marcello. special again there was dust gaining here but as it's under the needle it's really not <laughs> my record i'm so sorry because it sounds so stupid to to change while listening to the needle but maybe i can ask my fratello to take after now uh, this pulvere <laughs> okay uh, we had to change something because i announced annalie but natalie said oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i have another interview at 10 so we have to be very very quick to have uh, natalie and she's not feeling very 100 well so we have to do it now i see i see baba <laughs> baba natale <laughs> Very original, eh? Yeah. Very original. Very exactly original. Exactly as last year when when all of us together had the L'Amour Toujours song. Remember for I, Christmas? Of course, of course. And that's, yeah, that's and then I had the same hat. But I thought it's again <laughs> that's why uh, I t- a presentation of a new yeah. song. That's why I cha- I choose for I cho- I've chosen for Gigi D'Agostino with Toujours L'Amour because I remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, N- Natalie, I'm sorry that we had to change. It's it sounds a little bit like um, amateurs, but of course we are amateurs. Yeah, no, because I'm- I remember that we we agreed that I would have been the first. So I said to Jump, you know, DJ Jump yeah. of L'Amour Toujours, and they are having an interview tonight with another radio station. So yeah. I already said yes, yes, and that's why okay. uh, I had to ask for a change. Okay. Well, But uh, you you finish with Annalie, the yeah. best of all. You know? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Well, 
these are your words because we have, of course, high opinions of you, of Kim, <laughs> of Emanuele. So, yeah, but we love each other. We that, all love that's it. each other. I think, eh? I think I don't want to make it too long because you are a family member already of this radio station and have entered the yeah, for a long time. But can you say just something about the other members? Because we speak to yes. four of you now. Can you see, yes. say something about the other participation uh, of, course, of, the, of yes. the girls? Uh, I am writing all these names in alphabetical order because of my age. It's the only <laughs> way I can remember, you know. Yeah. But the, the thing is, it's been really wonderful. Not everybody was able to uh, participate. We did ask many more persons but you know everybody has different things to do maybe another record coming out with the radio and yeah. we could only do this with somebody that was not connected to any radio station at the moment so uh, in the end it's Anneli that you have in front of you we have Dani we have Erika we have Joy Salinas we have Kim Lucas we have Luca Zeta Lady Helen she's a vocalist We have Natalie Arts, that's me. We have Neja. We have Maya Days from The Temperer. We have Melody Castellari, that you know as Lady Violet, Dear, and many other mm-hmm. vocal projects. And of course, Pops, that you are having in the, in the radio right now. Yeah. And we also have Sandy Chambers. And she's the voice of many, many projects, as you all know very yeah, well. Yeah, we know. Uh, I'm not going to say all the names, as you know. But uh, we are 14 artists and we made this song in collaboration with uh, DJ Maxwell and uh, Simone Ermacora. And we had the help from Walter Mangione, who did a wonderful, incredible mastering. We had, all, obviously, Robbie Giordano and DJ Jump helping uh, everything, well, Everybody helped everybody, okay. and it's been uh, a big team. Thank yeah. you, thank you for mentioning all those because I think they deserve as much attention, of course, as the other ones. Behind yeah. the scenes, yes, applause, yes, yes. applause, of course. And I, I'm not sure if it's possible for you to do, but when you speak to them, give yeah. our regards to them I because will. we are so fond of the song, but also the motive to create that song. And I'm going to yeah. ask that to Anneli, of course, because yeah. okay. now I had to change in my mind <laughs> what to ask. But you mentioned now all the participants. And uh, is there anything else that you want to say? Uh, because otherwise we go to, then you can go to the other interview and we go to yeah. Anneli. Just say- It's just important that everybody knows that this is a song made by all of us. Yeah. Uh, with the only thing that we wanted, it was to be together. So there is no money involved. It's only for a charity cause. Yeah. And this cause is for, uh, it's we call that Onco Hermelodge. Well, how do you say that? Well, Anneli can say it better. Anyway, it's charity and uh, because Christmas is for children. So we need to help um, those children that need yeah. our help. And that's the only thing we can do around Christmas time. So uh, I think it's important for people to know, please, please put your put this song in your um, favorite Spotify as your favorite Spotify song. Mm-hmm. Please buy the record. Go and have a look on our Dance Legacy uh, YouTube channel. And we also have Instagram, uh, dance, dance.legacy.music. Please follow. Okay. Thank you, Natalie, for explaining. And of course, we have a little tune in between. And then we go to Annalie for the final uh, uh, discussion and motivation explanation. And then we play the song. Grazie, Natalie. Ciao. Ciao a tutti. Baci, baci. Io vado. And, and beterschap. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie, grazie. Dankjewel. Dag, lieverds. Oké. We gaan even naar Tom Hooker. Is it better to, to verklap, eh? Because if you haven't heard of this song, you will say, oh, mm, I know that voice. I know this is... Yeah, it's Tom Hooker. Well, in 91, he made this song, The Venture Highway, with uh, with a name like Elastic Band. And it's it has been published on Flying Records. So not on Baby Records or whatever, but Flying Records. And... I know for a fact a lot of people like this. Tell me how long you're gonna stay here, Joe. Some people say this time I don't look good in the snow. You don't care, I know. Free winds blowing through 
Even mijn goede voornemens wordt hier geroepen om <laughs> snelle radio te gaan maken. That isn't really me, because I think it's impolite to uh, just uh, have a break in the vocal parts of a song. But I don't want to be impolite to Anneli, because she's waiting for uh, the final um, presentation before listening to the song. So that's why I think we had to leave Tom Hooker alone with his elastic band and the Ventura Highway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can laugh, but it's really it's it's true. It, I... Leave Tom Hooker alone with his elastic band. I mean, come on, Marcello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we can we can still so laugh. Can me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Anneli, how are uh, you doing? Um, I'm okay. I've got a big swollen arm at the moment. I had my third vaccine today, so oh. um, yeah. I mean, at least I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, uh, well, you have heard the other ones talking while you're not maybe visible for a lot of people, but you heard what we're talking about. I think yep. we asked nearly everything that was uh, appropriate for the presentation of the person and of a little bit okay. of the song with Natalie. Is there anything that you want to add? Because I think it's important to explain why the song has been made with the motivation and the good cause for children with cancer, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, different kinds of skin cancers. And uh, so we, we've we uh, decided to donate all all the proceedings and everything to who needs it most, basically. Um, you know, I, I would like a trip to the Maldives, but probably saving somebody else's, especially a child's life, is probably more important. True. Uh, that's, my trip to the Maldives. Yeah. And I, I heard Natalie in an earlier stage saying something like, okay, we could have had a Christmas song like a traditional one. And maybe you said the same thing, uh, if I remember well. Uh, that could be about Christmas bells, Christmas trees, Christmas presents, etc., etc., etc. But the <laughs> thing is, to be together, to have this human interaction, this human feeling, this human emotion, just care for another person, and in this case more for children, it's more Christmas feeling, right? I think uh, sometimes you lose the feeling of Christmas and what it really means. And uh, without getting all deep and horrible and ultra boring and things, you know, I mean, um, it's nice to have something new on the market instead of a cover version of something else. Why yeah. not? Yeah. And, uh, you know, everything was done in record time and I mean record time yeah um, you know people working overnight uh, writing recording Melody was ace in her recording studio I went to see her at 10 o'clock in the evening on one horrible dreary night to put down <laughs> the first the first track and she was there she you know she was really really good and then of course BJ Maxwell and everybody everybody was who participated yeah I mean uh I, I didn't see much of them. Um, I got off the plane from Malaga from a show and then I went straight to do the video. But unfortunately, I was late and they all waited for me. Uh, and it was I, it was nice. It was nice yeah. <laughs> to see them all waiting. Yeah. And they could have got on with the video. But um, what, what? It, was, it was great because it's a legacy. It's like legare, legare, you know what that means in Italian, doesn't don't you? It means tie, being tied together. True. So it's like legare, but then legacy, that because we've actually done so much during the 90s, the lot of us. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, um, needs to be rem not remembered. It needs to be... Um, remembered sounds like something we, we did and we're not going to do again, but we're still here, you know? And uh, we're, we are a force to be reckoned with. Siamo una grande forza. Gignate da fare. Noi spacchiamo il culo a tutti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think... You <laughs> <laughs> you you said it, of course, with the legacy uh, explanation. It's also something to do with Christmas. Holding hands and just be together for the good cause. And in this case, I think we uh, ought to have... This. Of course, it's, it's not a mistake to enjoy the Christmas atmosphere with the tree and the present. But never, uh, mm -hmm. let alone, of course, that you have to think about the original idea of Christmas. You explained it perfectly. Thank you, Anneli. You did it really good. So, now we're going to listen to the song. I, for me, it was like, okay, this is like the band Aid. Artists together for the good cause. And maybe that would have been instantly worldwide uh, a big thing, but 
I think with respect of what now happened in Italy with you guys, I think it deserves much more attention. So I will do my best also to spread the word and uh, click on everything that's uh, supporting you. And I hope that the listeners and the viewers will have the same initiative to when they see something like a post passing by regarding dance legacy and what you have done for the christmas song i hope that we'll do so i have to say i have to say that when you hear it you can't get it out of your your head and another thing dance legacy is not just here for the christmas piece when uh we faremo tanti pezzi ancora paps tu cosa dici Sono d'accordo, sì, sì, certamente. È, il, è bello che possiamo fare tante cose oltre a una canzone di Natale. We can yeah. do much more things, you know. Oh, better. So this is... I wish you well as well. Yeah, that, that's well. a good thing because this is new. I, I heard it just also tonight from Emanuele. The dance legacy will go on, not only for the Christmas song, but will go on in the next year to have more projects i think it's a wonderful idea to have this kind of thing also because it's well we are in the middle of the covid time so this is also by handing over the good feeling and emotion with music okay uh Anneli, okay. I, and also also yeah? Marcello, just just one more thing hmm. dance legacy is a group that who wants to join can do that's true you know? It's, it's not a closed group. It's every, the doors are open to everybody who did something in the 90s. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know? Wonderful. Now you can play the record. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I first want to say thank you to all of you again and wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. And uh, maybe we can speak to each other before Christmas even. But now I, I uh, grab this opportunity to say it via this microphone. Merry Christmas indeed. Buon Natale. And... I leave it to you, uh, Anneli, to announce the song and then we will start the song. Go ahead. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen, signore e signori, and I don't know how you say it in Dutch, but never mind. This is Dance Legacy and this is a Christmas with love. Enjoy, bye and love it. It's Christmas time. We're here together. And we're here together. This is a Christmas for you. Christmas with you. A Christmas with you. It's Christmas for me. We are Dance Legacy. Tonight I'm not gonna sleep.
Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ah, oh, such a nice thing. And this is quite, quite special because we are the first abroad to broadcast this song in a radio show because officially it's out tomorrow. So they made a very, very warm exception for Eventi d'Azzurro, for Radio Stad Den Haag, because it's out tomorrow, not tonight, not today. So that's why I think we could be proud that they gave us this opportunity. And of course, it was a little bit difficult. Uh, I'm so sorry that we couldn't have this um, Skype thing in a proper way with all those members, uh, because you know, they are from Italy on their own devices. Some on a tablet, on the other on a telephone, and then etc. etc. So it has been a little bit difficult. And we couldn't practice, of course, before, because this is all live. So I hope that you understand and that you really had a good time to see the artists and hear them at least. And maybe a next time, because I offered to Kim to come back again and then we have her solo and then it's no problem at all with viewing and listening. So, um... That was a little bit of the dance made in Italy with this special occasion. And I hope that you will do so and click on everything that you can if you pass the dance legacy on Facebook or wherever, on Spotify. Or maybe you can find it on or see on Instagram if you have that one. So be strong and do that for the children with cancer because it's for the good cause. They do not have any money involved in this project for themselves. It's just for the children with cancer. That's really the thought of being together with Christmas. This is good old Italo Disco. And you know, I'm so attached to the song. And Paolo J means, know what I, what I mean, with Alberto Carpani in the car listening to this song for the first time. He knows the history of the song and you know by now also that I feel very strong attached to this one. Maybe it could reach the top 100. The Lovely Witch by Monica Novak on Eventy Records. This is too beautiful. And maybe it's a lovely witch also for the children this Christmas.
as the lovely witch. And we are so thankful for this uh, Dutch, Italo, Polish cooperation for creating this song. It really was the love at its best. And speaking about that, of course, Silva Pozzoli can sing the wonderful tune. 89 it was already, but nevertheless, a lot of people have recognized the talent and the beautiful song on Time Records of those days. I'm sorry, I had a piece of pizza in my throat. <laughs> so, love is the best. I'm going to play for you that tonight in this special show. And, um, well, let's move on because I have news of that Koto project. Yesterday night there was a discussion and I can explain maybe better tonight about that uh, Koto sound. And we're going to play another track of that album also made by Michiel van der Kuy, which I think it is a wonderful track. So hold on for the return of the dragon. First, Silver Pozzoli. One of my all-time favorite songs, this Silver Pozzoli Love is the Best, 
for you at this uh, special occasion of the Event in Azura show at Radio Ostad Den Haag. Trying to persuade you to vote for so beautiful music that has been made in Italy or maybe elsewhere. Because you can also choose for songs from Spain, Germany, France, Canada, the United States of America. You name it, you can just go ahead have a synthesizer song, maybe uh, one of your favorites from Sweden, or maybe a song from Denmark or Finland. Just go ahead and surprise us with your votes. And, um, well, I'm coming back to Greece also. Maybe there's something for the fans that we have in Greece. First, we go to another classic of the Italo Disco songs, because I think you love this one as well. It's... um, Peculiar, maybe, because it was uh, like uh, a one-hit, but a, be- a very big one. The B-side is a slow version of this song, which is really beautiful. I remember I played it a lot in Event in Azura shows here at Radio Stadenhaag back then with Michiel. But now we had chosen just for the A-side. And uh, I hope that you will select in your mind some kind of songs, maybe like this one. Suzanne and it's Give Me Love, well, it's a good motive also. And we have still some other disco songs to go, including some Eurobeat, because maybe you are a Eurobeat fan. Think about that. You can just vote. Yeah.
Suzanne, give me love. And uh, as reported, it has been played for you in the disco show last Sunday as well, because it was on the year 1986. Um, I told you we are coming back on the story of uh, The Return of the Dragon by Koto. And yesterday at the telephone, I explained already in the Sunday Night Live show that um, there has been, of course, in my perspective, a difference between the person Koto, which is, of course, by all means, Anfrando Maiola, the real Koto from Italy, and the guys who can play music like Koto. And it's just like this that Michiel van der Kuy has been asked by Zix Music to play because he is the one capable of um, being very, very near to the sound of uh, the memory record time of the 80s by Koto, to ask him to do some of uh, tracks for Six Company. And it was in view of, there hasn't been a new proper Koto track like what you hear now in 30 years. So Six wanted to have more of Koto for their music on their labels. And th- then they asked Michiel van der Kuy, can you produce four, five songs maybe for a new album for Koto? And Michiel thought, well, that's a little bit strange maybe, four or five songs for an album. And then it was silent. He did his job and they liked it, so they accepted the songs. But then it was silent and that was also something very strange. And you remember maybe that Michiel was here at the microphone and Menno asked him, of course, again and again, Can you say something about the release date of the new Koto songs? And Michiel said, honestly, I don't know. Because Zix didn't inform him about the release date. And I think it's not really something nice not to inform the guy who uh, presented you and composed the songs for that Koto album. And then, of course, maybe you had noticed already that there is a sound difference in tracks. And that could be okay, but you hear the difference in approach from the Koto sound from Michiel van der Kuy. And the other one, maybe a surprise, Andreas more. That's the other one. And there's another song also by other guys. But these two big ones, Andreas Moore and Michiel van der Kuy, were both invited to make songs for the Koto album. And now you understand why there is a difference in sound in that album. If you go to Discogs, you can find it and then you see for yourself which tracks has been composed by uh, Michiel van der Kuy and which ones are not because they were from Andreas, Andreas Moore. So I hope that I have now cleared a little bit that we didn't know before also, because Six was silent. We had chosen with Eventy Records, that's maybe a new uh, novelty for you if you weren't yesterday night at uh, the Sunday Night Live show. Eventy Records is going to press a vinyl of the Tron track by Koto. So now you know that Michiel van der Kuy is coming back on Eventy Records, not only with Sauvage, for example, but also with Koto Sound. And for me, it's still in my heart, and Frando Maiola is the person Koto. Nothing to do with friendship or whatever. It's just an order. Zix gave the order to Michiel van der Kuy, play songs in the style of Koto, do so, and that's it. And they own the rights of the the name Koto, so they say. So that's where all our information ends. Um, Yesterday you listened to the Tron track, and you can find it on the internet as well. And I had chosen for tonight another one, a beauty by Michiel van der Kuy, made under the name of Koto for that album. You are going to listen to Sputnik. www.radiostartdenhaag.com Radio Start presents Saturday the 18th of December. Your choice. Live on the internet. The 17th edition of the Radio Start Den Haag. Top 100 of all time. All time. Help us to make it the best chart ever. Send in your 10 all-time favorite Italo and high-energy dance tracks from the 80s till now. Go to our website, click the link and fill in the form. Hello Disco and high energy from the 80s. Are you ready? Yeah. The best chart ever. The Radio Stop Den Haag. Top 100. Vote now. Saturday, 
Friday, the 18th of December. Live on your favorite radio station. Live. Kickoff is at 12 noon CET till late at night. Radio Stop Den Haag, where it all started. Tune in all day long. Запад едва ли осознавал всю широту технических достижений русского. Это был первый искусственный спутник в орбите Земли. Спутник. 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 This is a wonderful track, really. I hope you agree that I have chosen for this one. And to be honest, I I couldn't notice, really. I'm so sorry for not following the thread of the live chat tonight. But I see now Discoteca in the live chat. And I said uh, with just a quick typing, welcome to the show. But I'm not so sure how long already there is this uh, new entry by Discoteca. But of course... Feel welcome, and I hope that everybody who entered the chat felt uh, welcome, of course, to participate. Um, this one was the Sputnik track of Michiel van der Kuy for Koto album. And I invite you to go to Discogs and just find out yourself if you just fill in the name um, Koto with Return of the Dragon. You can find all the tracks, and then you can see exactly which track has been composed by Michiel van der Kuy and which one by Andreas Moore and the other one at the end, I think it was uh, track number nine or so, was uh, composed by other people. Okay, um, we have still something to go with old Italo disco, not commercial. We have Canadian to start with and we have still something to choose. I, I promised you Eurobeat and also Mark Bongers made a wonderful mix, a uh, mini mix for this show. So that's why I think we have enough to listen to. Let's move on to Canada. Because this was also 
also something to vote for, I believe. I'm, my humble opinion is that this one with Stephanie Wells could well be <laughs> inside of the top 100. Or at least the bubbling under. Well, what you gonna do? Well, what you gonna do? Vote, of course. See our t-shirts. Vote for the top 100 of all times. Enjoy Stephanie Wells. Wonderful song, Stephanie Wells, what you gonna do? Um, let's move on. In the studio here we have some nice talks. We have still the bubbles uh, provided by uh, Maurizio. He's uh, not only the digital king, but he's also the pizza king. And I think, in short, he could be the bubble king as well. <laughs> Because he has a taste for the champagne, for the Prosecco, whatever. So we tasted tonight something exquisite. Now go to something that's really also special without a commercial angle because some people hate it to be too commercial. They would have really, um, well, special sounds, not really the commercial top 10 hits uh, maybe. This is Flying with Marilyn and uh, maybe you have it in your collection, but it's it's a rarity to be exact. So that's why we're going to play this one in Ive Dit Zulu Show. Love 
minder snel. Heb je het in de gaten? In het begin ging ik snel een radio maken, maar het wordt al minder snel. <laughs> Because of the champagne, it's not the fast radio anymore. But oké, okay, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Um, flying with Marilyn, a very limited edition. I think it's a rarity played by you here at the radio and we are not going to stop we have some time left over because we should have also the mini mix by uh, Bongo Mark Bongers and uh, I promise also a Eurobeat song and maybe I try to do so we go to Greece once again because of the fan friends that we have over there they voted quite a, a lot of Greece uh, um, people people from Greece voted for the top 100 but first we go to the You will beat this one. And this is, of course, recognizable as the Farina Crivalente sound. Sometimes we say there's no show without Aleph. Sometimes we say there's no show without Albert One, or maybe without, well, you fill in the names, but Farina Crivalente. Well, they have created so many songs that there's a big chance that we have the songs inside our shows for a fact. And I remember this one is really powerful. So never mind the neighbors. Just go ahead with Captain Hook and this bomba. It's Italian company label. The eighth song that has been published on that label. And the year was, I have to speak, 91? Yeah, 91. Here's Captain Hook.
Something by Captain Hook. Aka for the equivalent, of course. The Bamba Italian Company label. And uh, I promised you to go to the mini mix of Mark Bongers. We just, uh, by a joke, invented the Bongo name. But uh, we have great respect for the guy because it's not very easy for him uh, each and every day. But still, he enjoys music and we have quite the same taste of music. Some of the rarities, some of the commercial sounds. But he has his own way to make a mini mix. And it's nothing to do with making a a comparison between uh, Bertin of yesterday or just another one like... uh, Um, and um, uh, Mark Hartman or whatever you name uh, for the guys who are capable of making wonderful, beautiful mixes. It's just, I think it's a service to the show. I like that he has this initiative to make a mini mix. And uh, he had chosen his own tracks for this mini mix. I think it's about nine or ten minutes. uh, And I hope you enjoy this one. Here is the mini mix by Mark Bongers.
Mark Bongers for the mini mix. Next time I invite you to choose for Italian songs because this is of course atmosphere, really good song for a radio show, but I prefer also in my show, if I can say so, the Italian ones. So I dare you, <laughs> Mark, to choose for Made in Italy songs for a next time, if you want, because it's not an uh, obligation, of course. It's something that you do out of your own will, and I appreciate very, very much, and I like this choice. But of course, well, I could do with some Made in Italy sound for next time, if I can. Speaking of which, next week we have a choice by Arek and his dad from uh, Roma. And he, they compiled a one hour choice for disco songs. And um, it will be wonderful. A special journey just so for the December month. And you will enjoy that as well. So next week there's another special edition of Eventi d'Azzurro. Well, speaking about special, then we can have this one. Because I think if you are a connoisseur of the disco, you remember Kathmandu, The Break. And oh my gosh, how we loved to dance on this or sing along with that. It's really something special to have the rhythm sections, etc, etc. And of course, it's well known that it has been created by Dennis Lafarge of Lime. So a lot of people liked the break by Kathmandu. But this is another maybe limited edition. I'm not sure, but it's not from 1985. And it was published on the Black Sun record label in Canada. The same where Divine was published for the first time. So enjoy this one. Iventi Azzurro, Radio Stad Den Haag. With your ideas for the voting for the top 100. And I dare you do so. With Michiel, with Maurizio, with Menno, with Paolo. And me speaking Marcello. To enjoy this late, late Monday night with the wonderful music selected by me, Iveti Dazzurro Archives, and of course by you if you requested one earlier this week. I hope that you'll hang on because we don't want to go to bed yet.
say goodbye to this song, but it's, it's enough, it's enough, so I'm starting to speak. I think it's wonderful also that Stefano Maiolo has entered the chat, maybe before, but I, I missed it already. So um, now I can make it up to you, Stefano. Grazie, per tuoi saluti, ti voglio bene anch'io. And uh, I have seen also very nice uh, comments by Gwen, by uh, Giorgio Malikutis. Uh, I'm going to speak to him later uh, in a personal message uh, because I have something to ask him. And, uh, well, hang on because it's not finished. We are going on. And uh, the next one is the promised thing to Emanuele because uh, he said himself that he has had quite a success with Mirage, the song of, of Scotch, but they did a, a remake in the 90s and it also became, uh, I think, Paolo, you can correct me, but it became a tune also for uh, cell phones, right? Yes, yeah. and that was that was a big success also because if you want to gain some money, well, if your tune would be chosen as a ringtone, then you are really... Not, not true? No, 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 no. Dimmi. Uh, it was the la publicità della team. That was it. The advertisement, the publicità. That's it. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie Paolo. Prego, prego. <laughs> On this San Nicola. <laughs> the Sinterklaas. The echte verjaardag van Sinterklaas. Well, well, he died on this day. And better said, ook okay, Independence Day for Finland. That's better to celebrate. Right? <laughs> okay. Enjoy this one. Pops and Scar with the wonderful, famous Mirage here with Eventi d'Azzurro.
ci porterà to Giorgio Malikutis because he is my dance bro in Greece and the last song will be from Greece but that's a very slow tempo song and uh, it's like imagination in the old days of the 80s such a slow song but in between there is an instrumental by Luca Lelo and uh, I like this song so much and I thought okay this is a song um, well one year ago published one year ago in 2020 it's a little bit like the atmosphere created by mention do you remember that one so the new talented for me it's a new talented guy luca lelo i think he deserves more attention and i hope that you will like this one and in the meantime i can say something about the birthdays because today is also the birthday of uh, john eubank you know, the big producer and songwriter. I mentioned already Michael Sancher of the uh, the Tiger Project and um, Jordi Burgos in Barcelona. We have at the 1st of December, Davide Persichella, Grand Amico. We have had on the 4th of December, Leonardo Carraro, a friend of Vittorio, the son of Vittorio. Max Reker, our Eurobeat fan. The 5th of December, you remember well, Ron Stuisvey was having his birthday. And in Italy, good friend Mauro Abate of Special Spatial Vox. And that is, I think, the, the best of the modern talking sound f- coming from Italy. Santiaguri, happy birthday to you all. And I hope that you really like what we have played t- tonight as maybe uh, an auguri for all of you and well enjoy this one the fantality by luca lilo
Fantality. And I think it's a wonderful track. A little bit of atmosphere and we are going to slow down because the last track I promised you was a very and will be a very slow one for all our Greek friends and fans. Maybe... I just imagine, Georgios, maybe you hate the one. It's sung by Christiana. And uh, maybe you don't like it, but nevertheless, the idea, my intentions are okay. And uh, I hope that you like the idea that I dedicate a song to the Greek fan and friends that we have. Because they voted quite a lot for the Top 100 already. Um, Well, I think I mentioned nearly all for you to know about the tracks and I have so many tracks not uh, played for you so next week we have already a full episode of Ivete de Zoro including the choices made by Arek and Darek from Roma um, now I think it's time to say thank you for all the chatters and I'm sorry that I couldn't participate too much tonight because there was so much going on with the, the Skype and with the, the pulver, the dust under the needle. I'm sorry, but I, I meant well and I hope that you liked the choices of the songs. So this one, now I have to, <coughs> to uh, practice my Greek language. Esu pou magapas. Georgios, you can correct me. Esu pou magapas. In the Piano Fantasia. And it's something that maybe you like as a last song to say goodnight with. Buonanotte. Grazie for listening. And you know, there's lots more on the, this wonderful radio station, Radio Stad Den Haag. And Iwente Razzurro is there the prossima settimana, the next week. My name is Marcello. We have Michiel. Thank you. Grazie Paolo for the support. Maurizio, Menno. And of course, you out there that would have been alongside with me for this show because I felt more strong. And again, thank you, Grazie Mille, for all the artists involved tonight with uh, Emanuele, Kotsi, Paps, Annelie Gordon, Natalie Arts, and Kim Lucas because they did a wonderful job as the dance legacy. And a salute to all other artists involved that we didn't mention, but Natalie did and you can listen back and view back if you want. This is the Christiana girl from Greece and uh, I wish you bona notte.
Marcello al zei, zo die vent hier dat zoer. Oh, het is toch wel een beetje een uh, imagination-achtige sound zit erin. Maar ook wel weer uh, een beetje dat uh, Grieks-Turks-achtige, uh, leuke zuidelijke, mooie Mediterraneaan. Uh, je weet wel, sound. Dit was die weer event in Azuro hier op jouw maandagavond. Dank u voor het luisteren. Morgen zijn we er weer. Vanaf 8 uur is Herman van Velsener met het wijntje, plaatje, praatje. Ik hoop dat je er ook weer van gaat genieten met allerlei leuke oude fragmenten... van de vroege Radio Stad Den Haag. Programma's en natuurlijk ook weer hele oude reclames. En dan nog, als laatste zeg ik even... Douchko is er natuurlijk weer aanstaande zondag... en uh, Rick Rotterdam heeft weer een aardige lijst uitgezocht. Dus als je woensdag even Facebook in de gaten wil houden... bij Michiel van der Brugge of bij Radio Stad Den Haag... dan krijg je het jaar 1985. Wel rusten. Iedere zondag tussen 5 en 7, Michiel van der Brugge in Douchko. Met natuurlijk een terugblik naar de Haagse flitsende 50 uit de 80's. Jouw douche vol met disco. Elke zondag tussen 5 en 7 op Radio Stad. www.radiostadtenhaag.com Radio Start presents Saturday the 18th of December Your choice Live on the internet The 17th edition of the Radio Start Den Haag Top 100 of all time All time Help us to make it the best chart ever. Send in your 10 all-time favorite Italo and high-energy dance tracks from the 80s till now. Go to our website, click the link and fill in the form. Hello Disco and high energy from the 80s. Are you ready? The best chart ever. The Radio Stop Den Haag Show. Top 100. Vote now. Saturday, the 18th of December. Live on your favorite radio station. Live. Kickoff is at 12 noon CET till late at night. Radio Stop Den Haag, where it all started. Tune in all day long.